So I'm driving, and I'm not gonna be looking at the camera, but I am heading towards uh, a small town, a very, very much a dairy town, cattle town. There's more cows in this town than there are people, and they're very proud of that. But what I'm doing is I'm taking an artificial insemination course so that I can artificially inseminate my cattle. Uh, of course, I only have two. I mean, seriously, I have two jerseys. <laughs> but that way I don't have to worry about getting a bull, having to coordinate a bull, or having to possibly get some disease transfer because of either transporting my cows to the bull or transporting the bull to my property. So I don't have to worry about that. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. So for four days, I'm going to be learning how to artificially inseminate my cattle. Here goes. So day number two, heading to the dairy. We're actually going to be doing uh, the palpation today. We'll have the, the straw and the tools. We're going to be going through the motions, and, but we're not going to actually be inseminating any cows today. Uh, the cows that we're going to be using are destined for slaughter. They're already past their, I guess, usefulness for dairy purposes. So those are the, the cows that we're going to be using. Um, now we did wake up this morning and you're going to see as we get to this stop sign, it snowed. There's snow everywhere. So that whole, it's going to be 50 degrees every day for two weeks. Yeah. Liars. This is this is awesome. So we're going to be running around in muck boots. You can see all of the snow. Yeah, so that's the day we're looking forward to. Anyway, going to get started. I uh, had to, to, I have to head down to the dairy and then get to work. So we'll, uh, we'll check in again in a few minutes. day two is done. I'm tired. We were at the dairy uh, most of the morning and then we came back to the classroom and for the first hour of classroom I was <laughs> practically falling asleep. Um, so today was palpation. Um, just getting a hold of the the cervix, trying to get the straw through the cervix, not actually inseminating any cows. And then 
in the classroom, we were doing heat detection. So my cows are pretty simple. They bellow for like 18 hours and then they mount everything. So I don't think heat detection is going to be a problem <laughs> on our homestead, but uh, it's, it's interesting to learn the other aspects of heat detection. So anyway, so day two is over. I uh, can't wait to get home and have some dinner and then try it again tomorrow. So we'll, uh, we'll keep going. You are not. But the fact of the matter is, is that you cannot hold on to that in your gun. And I mean, you still, no matter what, you still have to manipulate the survey. Right. Just because you can see the offs in the survey uh -huh. isn't going to help much. Okay, that's all or nothing. Yeah. You know, it's so, that's what I'm saying, like with the ghost, we use the, the, the glass stuff. When you find mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the cervix and target, mm -hmm. you, yeah, you still have to... Don't put your way in there. Come on. But I'm saying, is this easier to find a target? Like today, I was working with a cow. Beautiful. I, I found it. You know, everything was easy about it. Just couldn't get the I'd probably start your timer. That's so, all right. You know, and, and we we'll along want there. I'm going to use this. Okay. So it's, I mean, if this is a cervix, mm -hmm. you know, I mean. Are you putting your gloves on now? Is that what you do? So when I'm in there, I'm very well, that's warming up. Where I'm rocking and rolling. Yeah. So I just put pressure against this. And I don't have a clue where the hole is, but I'm just doing this. And eventually, with a little pressure, it will find its way. Okay. So maybe I just wasn't using enough pressure. Yeah. So. Don't get frustrated. You're out of straws. Oh, we're, com we're completely out? No, I just took that one. So there's a little bit here. Top of that thing, if you pull that up. Oh, so there's more. Okay. Okay. Was it you telling me your husband didn't like the manure is why you were videoing mm -hmm. the manure? <laughs> I sent him a picture and everything. You know what the sign of a happy cow breeder is? What? Shit in your teeth. Because <laughs> you're smiling. <laughs> we might need to get a picture of you to send your husband. Let me let me make it chocolate. Um, or something. Yeah, we'll we'll use chocolate. We'll fake it. <laughs> All right, day three palpation again. I don't know what the classroom is going to be uh, later this afternoon. I'm hoping to to really become proficient today with finding the cervix and getting through the cervix with the straw. Of course, today we're focusing more on cleanliness. So we're going to be um, basically every time we're going to be cleaning the cow off as you would with a normal uh, insemination. So here we go. I got five today. <laughs> Day three, officially over. I am very pleased with my progression and ex learning experience. I was successfully able to inseminate five cows. Uh, two additional cows, I was able to get through the first two rings of the cervix, but I couldn't get through the third ring but when I called one of the uh, the instructors over, they also couldn't get through the third ring of either of those two cows. So they just happened to be really, really difficult ones, but I'm very happy with that. Uh, heading back to the classroom now, I'm gonna have lunch and then we're gonna do classroom portion. Uh, probably some more insemination tank practice, being able to pull the straw out, uh, defrost the straw, and uh, put it in the insemination gun, and some other classroom stuff probably. So anyway, day three, half over. Very good day. So super happy about it. Day four. Let's go. All right, day four, over. Test is over, certificate has been received. So I am officially an AI tech. So 
very excited about that. It was a first time go. Uh, so when we went in, we were told to go find a cow, select her to do a fake artificial insemination. And then we would go get our equipment, get everything ready, go to the cow, find the cervix, insert the, the straw into the, the uterine body and inseminate. So it was a first time go for me. I was in and out pretty darn quick. So very good course. I was very happy with it. Um, I am going to ask one of the other AI techs if I can, I guess, intern with him for a little while so that I can get a little more proficient because from now until May, I don't want to lose the skills that I've gained in the course when it comes time to inseminate my cows. So I'm going to probably get some practice in beforehand uh, with, with one of the AI techs. So anyway, that's pretty much it. We will see you again next time. <laughs> Bye.